Hi, it's Brian and this is uh, May the 3rd and uh, we're returning to uh, <clears throat> an old uh, theme and that is a critique of uh, the methodology of modern uh, thinking, of modernism and uh, <clears throat> the place that we have come to uh, as a consequence of uh, a habitual commitment to uh, positivistic uh, philosophies and when I was quite young, uh, as a young uh, student of philosophy, I realised that uh, the uh, citadel of logical positivism had come under attack and that uh, it uh, <coughs> would be uh, an issue that all other disciplines would have to contend with. But uh, the thing that I found most intriguing is that actually positivism has stayed alive in uh, <clears throat> many, many disciplines, including the um, economic and uh, legal systems, and uh, a kind of tenacious clinging to uh, the uh, liberal humanist values that were uh, developed in opposition, I say, to uh, the heteronymous uh, world view that uh, <clears throat> dominated uh, its origins were in uh, the uh, theology uh, and thinking of uh, the traditions that developed from St. Augustine and uh, were followed by uh, Calvin, Swingley, Knox, Luther <clears throat> and uh, the opposing, of course, uh, camp uh, was uh, that of uh, the Thomas, of Thomas Aquinas, and the synthesizing of Hellenic and uh, Hebrew uh, thinking, opening the door, of course, to uh, the acceptance of uh, Greek and liberal uh, influences in. Uh, the uh, philosophy that developed out of the 15th and 16th century. Seeds, of course, uh, for this were sown much earlier on, uh, but however <coughs> they come to uh, flourish uh, at this time, and <coughs> what we're witnessing is the unravelling of uh, the methodology of modernity and I have been looking at a very interesting article uh, in the Guardian Weekly uh, written uh, by a, uh, a thinker uh, the name of John Gray and uh, he's done an assault on a false ideal of progress and <clears throat> Of course, the whole idea of, of uh, progress and that, uh, you know, we are going to better ourselves. Uh, these are achievements uh, with the origin, uh, the, the idea that one could have these achievements, have the or origin in uh, positivistic uh, philosophy, positivistic logical positivism, developing into uh, <clears throat> logical empiricism, and uh, taking on uh, a new uh, orthodoxy, but uh, they were habitually uh, clung to uh, after uh, people like uh, Popper and Pugliani had demonstrated that positivism as a philosophy was uh, unsatisfactory, to uh, put it mildly. Okay, so uh, on a bit of a roundup, uh, the uh, Guardian Weekly also uh, has uh, tied this in, and there's a wonderful little article, uh, The Tyranny of Unfettered Greed. And funny enough, the uh, buttressing of uh, the whole idea that uh, 
economists and uh, systems of rational thought, uh, starting from, from the whole notion of autonomous man, could actually uh, play a part in uh, the affairs of, uh, of modernity. Uh, the, this uh, thinking is now being completely uh, destroyed. Yeah, demonstrated, dismantled, demonstrated to be uh, the uh, fraudulent uh, work that it is. Uh, absolutely no solution to the difficulties and the problems that we face. We have uh, probably got to a point, and I think actually if I think uh, about some of the statements that I've made in the past, I think we've actually got to the point where this is all too much for us to cope with, too much for us to deal with. and. Uh, our way of dealing with it is so extraordinary. I mean, the uh, manufacturing of uh, some kind of uh, consent in the important areas of uh, culture and uh, of the modern world, everything is actually coming down to uh, the ability to tell a story and uh, to repeat it and to tell that story, repeat that story again and again until it uh, takes on creed or value and uh, acceptance. And that's actually what's happened is we've just accepted all these myths that are not grounded in any reality but uh, have become so powerful and dominating and the whole notion of governance has been sacrificed in the temples of uh, these people who are now claiming to be reformers. But uh, people like Soros, who uh, laid the axe to... Uh, put the axe into the uh, economy of uh, the modern world. Hey, let's just leave it there for now.